I have a confession to make. I love the spelling bee. I've been watching the spelling bee religiously every year. Ever since 1925, over 200 spellers, mainly from the U.S., come together in an all-out word spelling marathon in which the last person standing is crowned the champion. But there's been something bothering me about the spelling bee lately. In the last five years, an Indian American kid has won. In the last five years in a row, in the last 14 years, 10 of those winners have been, have been East Indian. When Indians make up less than 1% of the U.S. population, something is up. And I need to find out how this was possible. This year, I took a personal and cultural journey to discover why. Why do Indian kids excel at the spelling bee? And through my research, I discovered the secret, and I will share it with you today. See, growing up, I, like many of you here, wanted to be a hockey player. Like, there was this movie that came out a couple years ago. It was called Breakaway. Did anybody see this? No, I didn't think so. Uh, it was about an Indo-Canadian who wanted to play hockey, but his dad thought sports were useless, so he didn't want him to, him to play. Now, this is a very accurate representation of what happens in all Indo-Canadian households. Don't get me wrong, the movie was really crappy, but the story still resonated with me. Now, it got me thinking, you know what? We're not the most athletically gifted of people. I did some stats. India has more than a billion people. A billion. And since the inception of the Olympics, they have won a total of 26 medals. That's total, ever. To put it in perspective, take a random country like Estonia with a slightly larger population than Metro Edmonton, and they also have more medals than India. So like I was thinking to myself, like, how does our athletic futility actually translate into spelling bee success? Well, it sort of does. While others are concentrating on their runs, kicks, and throws, Indians are at home immersing themselves in cue cards, languages, and dictionaries. This year's Spelling Bee Champ actually reviewed 30,000 flashcards to prepare. So what, so, so, so what would possess a kid to excel at the Spelling Bee? Well, I noticed that all immigrant parents place their children in this figurative land called the Indian Hunger Games. This is where kids are compared and judged based on grades, looks, personality, how often they say hello to the other moms. Happens to me all the time, I don't want to get into it, but ultimately, who are the winners of these Hunger Games? It's basically anybody becomes a doctor. And I know this because my brother became a doctor and I hear about it all the time. But <laughs> Spelling bee parents, they're like masters at this whole game, okay? They know that the spelling bee represents a microcosm of the Indian Hunger Games. And they, they not only ingrain their kids to be spelling bee champs, but I also found something else that is rather shocking. I scoured through hundreds of articles on interviews of the past five spelling bee champions, and I found something disturbing. I'm going to share it with you guys today. 2008 champion Samir Mishra said he loves the violin and hopes to one day become a neurosurgeon. 2009 champion Kavya Shiva Shankar likes swimming and plans on becoming a neurosurgeon. 2010 champion Anamika Veramina wants to go to Harvard and become a cardiovascular surgeon. 2012 champion Signa Nadapati is a Sherlock Holmes fan and aspires to be a neurosurgeon. Four out of the last five spelling bee champions want to be surgeons, the upper echelon of doctors. That's a pretty crazy stat. But I also discovered more. I noticed that Indian parents love to show off their kids, but they love to show them off in a mass audience. See, the spelling bee, that's why they love the spelling bee, because it's actually on primetime ESPN. And I was just like curious, to, I was wondering, what's more popular, the Stanley Cup Finals or the spelling bee? Because it's actually on on the same night. So I took a random year, like 2010, and I found that the, the Hawks-Flyers game for... Uh, uh, game got 3.1 million viewers. The Spelling Bee got 4 million viewers. So actually people are watching. Now the, the other thing that I noticed was that I almost would put the Spelling Bee at the same level as Indian weddings. As you may know, Indians spend their whole lives waiting for their kids to get married so they, they can spend this, so they can throw this gigantic, extravagant, expensive-ass wedding for their kids. 
In what other cultures do you see the grooms coming in on an elephant? Seriously, an elephant? Anyways, guys, I presented a number of potential theories, but I still wasn't convinced that I found that one secret. And I definitely didn't want to come up here and tell you guys, you know, after all this important research, and tell you guys that, you know, it's a combination of things, you know? I didn't want to do that to you, okay? But I was still struggling to find that one secret until I went to my mom's house, and she was on the phone with a customer representative from TELUS. And after listening to her, it finally hit me. See, she was trying to tell the rep that her address was in Twin Brooks. And she was getting frustrated. She was like, no, it's Twin Brooks. D like typhoon, W like whole wheat bread, I like iPod. And at that moment, I, it, I realized that my parents have been trying to spell words over the phone their whole lives because no one can understand them. And. And that's why we're such good spellers. <laughs> but you're probably wondering to yourself, well, wouldn't all these factors make Sean a great speller? You're, you're, the answer is actually, you're right. I am an, a phenomenal speller. And to actually prove it here tonight, I'm gonna actually ask the audience to like yell out any word, and I will actually spell it here live right now. Okay. Well, I heard, okay, I heard gonorrhea, um, classy, classy audience, but I'll take that. Okay, gonorrhea. Can I get in a sentence? No, I'm just going to, um, gonorrhea, G-O-N-O-R-R-H-E-A, gonorrhea. Thank you.